welcome to one more session of inspiring conversations we have a very interesting person today as well and uh, well the story is unfold as i start discussing with him i would like to request mr mahesh mudda to please come up on the stage so that we can begin our proceedings please and uh, before i do so i would want you to see uh, some powerful testimonials that this gentleman has got something which all of us would aspire to get please Shri Manohar Joshi, former Chief Minister of Maharashtra and former Lok repeating. Sabha Speaker, said, "Today is a very happy day and particularly the happiest day for Mahesh Mudda." During the installation ceremony of Mr. Mahesh Mudda, was full of praise for Abbas Bhai and the company. Ah, uh, let me congratulate Mr. Mahesh, and this is indeed. a great day for all of us you have come a long way not as a distance but the struggle the efforts the dedication the sincerity all put together and the vast experience which you had under the guidance of mr abbas bhai and he has really build you he is a person behind your career and today this top most responsibility which you could achieve it is only because of some people who work very hard and i find mr abbas bhai has done a lot to you and you also with due sincerity i mean that what is needed in life you may achieve any heights but sometime we forget everybody who has been instrumental in bringing us uh, to this stage and that humility which you have i think it will definitely create a history we forget. he is not something like 10 sites working at bandi but the amount of uh, mobilization he did for this site and the cooperation that he gave to us we won't have achieved what we have achieved today our contractors again i want to just acknowledge mahesh bhai is a uh, and his uh, firm ncc as contribution you know uh, the uh, the chairman is a good friend of mine for many years mr abbas jasdawala and i was very worried that when they give this project to him that people may think that it's okay because of some relationship but to be fair in this whole thing was the whole discussion everything was going on not once did a boss by or mahesh or anybody come and approach me and ever since have never approached me and actually have looked at it as their own projects it is as i said pretty unique to get such a big project done in such a short time and without the least interference another point actually i was thinking about last night in terms of value of production at least in our group this will be the single largest project in terms of value of output that will give so i want to thank you and your team this convey to all of you well friends that's what mr mahesh mudda is Uh, very actively developing this country uh, it's a construction company it's just like an infrastructure company doing some amazing work amongst the existing competition that india has but this story began in a very different format 30 years back when he came from latur to mumbai he came in and joined this company this is his first company as an employee and from there in the last 30 years he's grown to be the third largest stakeholder in the company and he has given growth to the organization which is unbelievable i would also like to share one more aspect here which we should all make a note of the organization that he works with is 70 years old and you will be shocked and surprised 90% of the growth has come in the last 13 years okay last 13 years back he was 17 years old with the organization so last 13 years have been very crucial so all of us entrepreneurs who are in business in our 17th year and 18th year this is a threshold for unimaginable growth levels so we should be looking forward to that mahesh ji 30 years 
journey with an organization where you are heading business and uh, taking entre entrepreneurship to a new level. How has this journey been? What has been your most important learnings? Thank you, Rajesh ji. It's an amazing journey, I can say. I mean, uh, everybody feels that yes, I have achieved something, but then for me, it's truly a beginning and uh, long way to go from here. But in this process, uh, we always say learning is a process and which is ever ending. And uh, truly, I've been learning many things, many things, and today I feel, yes, I know a bit of it, which will definitely help me to take this organization to the next level. So it's a wonderful journey, I can say. So I think in the year 2003, when the turnover started, the actual, uh, the turning point of the organization as well as for you, happened during your, one of your international uh, learning exposures that you did at Wharton. Did your mindset change after that? Yes, of course, because the, I believe into uh, learning, which uh, because of that I keep reading books, uh, interacting with people, attending these kind of sessions, and uh, uh, studying. And uh, that is one of the part of it in 2003 because I chose to do the ISB Wharton program, where uh, three weeks we were in Hyderabad ISB campus, and then three weeks in Wharton. And I must say, I, because the, in true sense, uh, that was the time where I got exposure in terms of the wealth creation process, which is called because you know value creation. Then I realized, because yes, because uh, we earn profit out of the business is one, but uh, to creating the wealth out of you because your shares, which because normally because if you keep it in the cupboard, because after so many years, because probably they turn into yellow and because it's not worth even holding in your hand. But then how do we create value for that? So that is the amazing experience why I got exposure and which I started working because three owners, I said, yes, I think no looking back now. I think, how do we? So then you have to reach to the people. So we started because, you know, going to the places like Bangalore and Chennai and Ahmedabad, many places. Otherwise, we were predominantly working into Mumbai, Pune. So one is exposure of that and then because experience because when because you are working, because that was a combination of two, which gave a edge to the organization to really compete with the, with the peers in the market and then slowly start creating the valuation. So people started looking at you. Why will anybody, because we say because, because I, use, I always use the term because we started maturing ourselves and people started noticing us. So that was the process. And then, because in 2003, when after I came back from there, you know, because I started, how do I begin? Because so people, because who are the people from the industry? Because the, whom do, should I look upon and because how do I learn from them? So big companies like LNTs and Shapujis, Billy Murray, because three companies were there. I said, why are they big? Why are they different? and uh, institutions like HDFC and bankers. And so that is how I started, you know, interacting with people. And that journey has been very, very interesting. What is the turning point that happened after 2003, after almost uh, uh, 57 years of your organization? What is that different that you did, which really took your organization on a different route? As I told, uh, our turnover was very small in 2002, 2003, because uh, I remember because of people celebrating uh, when we touched 25 crore, but uh, I was internally not happy because how can they, because you know, when other companies, peer companies were saying they're talking about 100 crore, 200 crore, 1000 crore, and I said 25, I've been still happy. I said no. And I said, what is the difference between them as us is only because your commitment, your involvement, your initiative. So I started talking internally with the people. I said, uh, look here, buddies, because I have put my 17 years into this organization. I'm not happy because there are people because who have been there for 36 years, they are happy. For them, very less to, because you know, because they, have, because have, they have had their career. For them, nothing to lose. For us, lot is on the stake. So if we all work together, we can really create a history. And because, because we have that kind of pedigree, we have got that kind of background, we got that kind of presence in this industry, there are hardly any companies who have completed this kind of number of years. So I said, why don't we cash on to that? And we started with that process and, you know, because, uh, as I told, we started branches, because ap approaching the architects, clients, discussing with them. So you broke the geographical boundaries, basically, yes. right from focusing only on Bombay and Pune. You went to Bangalore, you went to Chennai, you went to Delhi, you went to Gurgaon. Absolutely. You went all across the country and that's how you did it. To Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, oh. most difficult places. Okay, so you made that your business strategy of going to places where others dread to go. You also built a team on the way. I have a situation to share with you. 
uh, he used to eat his breakfast at a very famous Udupi restaurant. And the, there used to be a same table where he used to sit and eat that uh, breakfast. There used to be a waiter who used to serve him. And the wet, waiter was very meticulous in serving him. Guess what happened? He changed his fortunes. He picked him up from being a waiter. Today he is a purchase director in the company. In 25 years. In 25 years. And that, that guy is so loyal that they never have to check what he's doing on. So, I think one of the traits of an entrepreneur is also to pick up the right people on your journey of life, empower them, give them growth, because ultimately their growth is leading to your growth. So I think that's what he's done with multiple people. I'm just giving this an example of a person who's to just serve him the breakfast at a restaurant. What do you believe as a part of team building? Because you're in a line of business where your success, like every other business, but more so in your business, depends on your core team. So what do you do to select your team and how do you empower them? See, we, we very easily talk this term of team work, team spirit. But in true sense, to put it, uh, it is very difficult. One has got to deal with your people uh, with a lot of uh, affection. And, uh, and family we do with our own, because uh, our brothers, sisters we do, and we try and, you know, because understand them. Where at times they are wrong because still we could try and because, you know, take them along with us. When it comes to organization, because then when you are growing on the, uh, ladder, uh, on the growth path, then most of the time people think that this, I know, I think, uh, I know, that I know factor because it truly brings you down. So in my case, because as you rightly gave that example, so such a wonderful example, probably because it can go in a, one of the best case studies. This boy was so good because before my marriage, I used to go very frequently there for my lunch. And uh, with always smile on his face. In fact, uh, today also if you meet him, because this guy, I've never seen him because in those kind of, you know, making faces or problems. And uh, I used to like something, say, because I like, like this, or I like crispy roti, because I like that my water glass to be clean, I like this. And he understood me, and whenever I used to go with smiling face, he used to come and serve me, talk to me nicely. And that gave me because very good feeling, and then I started talking with him. And I told one day, because, why don't you, because, are you happy with this? And, Sir, happy, abhi, se aaya, to pe happy to come here, so would you like to come because in our organization? So what do you want to do, sir? Our canteen is our canteen. And from that, because this boy started taking interest, because he you know, became a uh, courier, because looking boy, or Xerox, those used to be there, then uh, operator job. Today, because as Rajesh Ji told, because he is because whole and soul, because the, and such a trusted person, because we call him like a fire brigade of company, because 24 by 7, anything you tell this boy doesn't know, because uh, he'll never say no or because I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, and because he'll see that it is happening, no Sundays, no holidays, no nothing. So this loyalty comes out of, because your kind of affection, you have to treat them like that. So the moment, because it's give and take in life, because you take people along with you. I think I always say leader is the one when he's walking and he looks behind, there has to be crowd behind him. You can't be a lone leader. Fantastic, fantastic. I'll share a very interesting situation. In the year 2003-2004, there was a contract by HD, uh, by uh, Hindustan Lever. They wanted to build their corporate office, 16 lakh square feet office. The bidders were the top players of this country, Shapurji Palanji, LNT, Billy Moria, and even NCCCL, okay, a new consolidated construction company limited. The quantum of the contract was the turnover of this company at that point of time. And he was also one of the bidders. And he got the bid. So that was surprising, beating that kind of competition. And not only did he beat the competition, the challenge was constructing 16 lakh square feet in 16 months. And they did that. Foreign principles, absolute monitoring, microscopic control, even if it is being contracted out to an organization. He beat all of that and he did that. So did you learn how to manage uh, to win tenders or it was a strategy? I think uh, that was a great experience for me in life. I will never forget. And uh, to be very frank, that job probably gave me a greatest courage of my life to take this organization to the next level. And it was truly, it was impossible. In fact, uh, within our organization, uh, because a few of our people and directors, they felt that probably because he's been just wasting time. Because I was attending meetings after meetings after meetings after meetings. Because then 
I was myself going there. It was for me, it was, I was so fascinated about this job. I said, God, you have to help me. Because this job if we, can, we get is in Mumbai. I got a strength. It is in hometown. And if we did do this, then the no looking back. And because truly that happened. And because the competition was tough. When we came to the last uh, leg of the uh, negotiation, uh, see, all our presentations were good. My understanding was good. When, when they, till that time, they had not seen the balance sheet. When they, because people involved, they saw balance sheet. They said, Mr. Buddha, all that is fine. But then uh, we have concern. I think your company is too small to handle this kind of job. I said, uh, why are you saying, sir? So he said, your turnover is not equal to uh, contract value, what we're talking. I said, sir, that is where because strength lies. How? I said, sir, I'm putting the whole organization at your stake to, at uh, your job. All your conditions I'm agreeing. And let me tell you one thing. And what happened in that, during that because final conversation, they had their uh, foreign team. They wanted to because, uh, see the final bidders. There I scored maximum marks. So other end, because the foreigner talking, Miss Mutha, because your company is not even tenth, uh, one tenth of the size of the... I said, that, again I repeated. Sir, that is why I'm telling, and let me tell you one thing, uh, Mr. So and so, I don't remember his name now. But I said, today, about this job, as much I know, I don't think anybody sitting in this room, or probably you are, you know about your job. I have myself attended 21 meetings. I don't know exactly, and because I have made my program how to execute the job from the day one to uh, completion. I made all the plannings. I went on describing. There was complete silence, and end of the, my discussion, he said, fantastic, I think uh, we'll take, uh, speak with our team. Post that meeting, because Mr. Director, I can uh, give the name, Mr. Mutreja, actual director from Indian. He called me, uh, met me out, and he just gave me one pat. He said, Mr. Mutreja, made my job a little easy. Let me see. He was very keen, because he was seeing that kind of passion into me. And that is how we're not lowest, for that matter. We got that job, but it was a tough job, difficult job, but fantastic experience of my life, I must say. And that gave us, you know, experience of quality we used to talk, but what really quality means, what really safety means, what re really because housekeeping means, what really because an environmental because, you know, aspects, because when we talk about, there were almost more than 18 trees, because we had to save all of them. That itself was one project, and we what we learned through that was again amazing. And at one point of time, we had 2,100 laborers working, literally all shifts, three shifts. And this gave this organization a different, because ultimately, because where we come, your uh, uh, commitment, your perseverance power. Because I was madly, because I was eating, sleeping, drinking, anything was H-U-L. <laughs> and then I decided, because they're saying, you know, because if you decide something, and if you really because put your whole heart, soul towards it, I think the whole world comes to help you. Fantastic. So, Fantastic. Because saying is very easy, but then doing is very difficult. Fantastic. Fantastic. I think 20 buses, you stationed them at Dindoshi. They used to travel in those 20 buses, 2100 people to the site at Andheri. I used to always keep wondering at that signal that who must have made this beautiful building. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be sitting and talking to the same man who dreamt it and made it happen in 16 months time. You'll be surprised to know that the whole contract, by the time the project got over, the contract quantum in terms of rupees was three times the turnover of their company. And at every stage they kept getting it and I think that was one big push that was required to your organization at that point of time. And then there was no looking back. Absolutely. Because, see, the way we were working, we won the confidence of those people. And uh, initially, it was only civil contract. Then it was allied, because, you know, you were finishing, you were glazing, and so on and so forth. I used to go and say, Mr. Mutreja, I'm doing everything, whatever you want. Another thing I must share with you, this is, you know, uh, there was time I got my first uh, C-class Mercedes. And I had driver, so I never used to get an opportunity to drive car. And I was a bit scared to, because, you know, to drive on the road, and that kind of feeling. But night, I used to come home, around 9, 13 o'clock, have my dinner, and take that car and go to that site. As I started, then I realized, 
not only clarity, because they had cameras all over, because then that reporting used to go to up to the you know, UK office and US office. And one of the meetings they started up, Mr. Muda is amazing, that kind, kind of commitment you all have. So we have been seeing that 10 o'clock in the night you have been visiting the site. <laughs> I said, this is amazing. So, so, so your joy ride was also adding to your value. <laughs> so in the, then I look back, I said, in life, really this is, because so simple, but you got to do it yourself. Fantastic, fantastic. I think uh, that was a very, uh, it was, everything was working positive towards all the decisions that you made. Friends, we all travel at railway stations, we all travel at bus stations at some point of time in some emergencies, and we very often travel on the airports. Airports are very lucky places. Flying on the airlines is also considered to be very, very lucky. I must have got 500 experiences. Most of you all must have had many experiences. Guess what? There was a lucky experience for Mr. Mudda also. In 2003, 2004, he was sitting at the airport and there was a man reading a newspaper. And that man was Deepak Parekh. <laughs> that newspaper converted into other type of paper that we all work for. <laughs> but friends, there is a learning in that. This happened in 2003, 2004. And that was his first interaction with Deepak Parekh. Rest was history. He will say what happened after that. See, I have one habit. Uh, uh, I don't think in my, ever since, because I've been traveling, but whichever the source, I never missed my bus or uh, uh, plane. I always go at least one hour. My uh, wife also at times laughs. My kids, they say, what is power? Because why you do this? I said, look here, we are ready. One hour sitting at home, what do we do? Let me go there and because I I'm always, you know, I love meeting people by, by interacting with them. And uh, whenever I go there, I always see somebody suited, booted, tie, why? I said, somebody, how does it matter if he says, talks to me, well and good. Doesn't talk to me, I lost nothing. So I just <laughs> <laughs> go there, sit there. One is because no anxiety about reaching traffic, tha, last moment you come and gates are closed and somebody is, you know, because of uh, showing, because you know, some sort of faces on to you, no question. You reach there quietly, sit, go and lounge, because and uh, then read something and then meet people. So it happened so in 2004, I went there and I saw that Mr. Deepa Parek reading some novel. So I said, this seems to be like Deepak Parek. I was trying to Delhi to go to Chandigarh and reach uh, Himachal Pradesh, our job. We started recently that time. So I said, I must meet him at least. You know, such a big personality, where you get chance? Because to get his appointment is, was uh, impossible. So I quietly went to him, uh, so good morning. So he just looked up and said, yeah, good morning. So I took my card and uh, gave it to him. Mahesh Mudda, new consolidated, just the Nola group we write normally, because I've been, I started that. Just the Nola group, which phase or Abbas? I said, uh, Abbas, I, I know this family, very good. So what, what do you want? I said, no, no, sir, just wanted to meet you and uh, uh, you know, because we are in the growth process now and uh, we need because support of HDFC, like people, if they support us, we can really take this organization next level. What's your turnover? As I told, 25, 30 crore. So when I said immediately, look, how old companies? I said close to some 50, some 50. But why there is no growth? So there are many reasons. But then now I'm very clear. In next five years, because I'll take 10 times, he smiled. Interesting. Then he said, good, good, good luck. Then he took my card, then I also went and sat, forgot about the whole thing. After three months, I get a call from his office, when Mr. Vishwanath and his PA, Mr. Mudda, I believe a uh, couple of months back, you met Mr. Parekh and uh, he has asked you to see such and such, this three o'clock come to our office. I go to his office, he said, come, come, come sit and offered that tea, coffee. He said, uh, I was very happy with the kind of enthusiasm you had. And uh, this is a good organization, good family. And uh, now we were talking about growth process. Just wait. Then he called uh, uh, Mr. Krishnamurti. He was their general manager then. Now he's the MD and CEO of the property fund. He said, uh, KG, meet uh, this gentleman. I liked his approach and uh, very interesting, good uh, organization. It have been a long time, but then there was no growth process. But this boy is confident. He was talking 10 times he'll do it. Just understand. And uh, we went down with him, sat in his cubicles, explained him everything. And that's all, that was the end of it. And the KGL also said, Hey, Babu, you 
बहुत रेफर डालना पड़ेगा ये बात करने से कहाँ होता है अपने दुनिया में बहुत डिफिकल्ट है सर हो जाएगा हो जाएगा एंड देन ऑनर वट आई है दैट के जी कृष्णमूर्ति वॉज ऑल्सो एज रिगार्डेड एज वन ऑफ द यू नो गॉड फॉर दिस इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज पीपल रिस्पेक्ट हिम वेरी मच बिकॉज इज हेल्प मेनी पीपल सो आई सेट थैंक्स गॉड आई गॉट इंट्रोडक्शन टू दिस जेंटलमैन ऑल्सो सो आई स्टार्ट एड सिंग सर आप तो हमारे गुरु है ऐसा है वैसा एंड एवरी थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ आई टू गो मीट हिम जस्ट कीप ब्रीफिंग हिम तो थर्टी बिकेम सेवेंटी हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हंड्रेड एंड एटी टू हंड्रेड क्लोज टू थ्री हंड्रेड वेन ही केम सो ही स्टार्ट टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन टू अस इट्स लाइक आलवेज से बिकॉज वैन गर्ल इज मेच्योर्ड देन ओनली यू फील नो बिकॉज नो तो बट आई अलवेज टेल पीपल यू प्लीज बिकॉज वेट 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 वंस यू मेच्योर्ड देन यू हर टू प्रेजेंट यू सेल्फ प्रॉपरली then people will queue into for you because you don't have to worry about it so he started you know discussing started calling me at times and the discussion because you know, started taking a lot of interesting turn and at same time i started talking with couple of this uh, equity funds and that is how because hdfc took a call to invest with us there no merchant banker nobody one to one with mr kg krishnamurthy we shook a hand and 2008 see because time again you got to have that kind of tenacity that kind of perseverance power and that kind of commitment into you nothing or people abhi ho to next day what next day what because keep working then next day nothing will happen time will come when probably because i always tell people if you want to achieve something or you want to have something for you please put let put down the things work towards it without thinking of because karma ne vaade ka raste ma phale shu kadachinam so that doesn't mean that because you don't have to worry about the because fruits fruits will come plenty but you keep working so it literally in those times happen it was an amazing experience the whole industry knows people who are in the industry 200 crore hdfc in 2002 one to one no merchant banker and they invested they have been our partners at entity level till today wow wow so getting hdfc as a partner they are used to giving loans and then recovering them very well but here they have invested in equity i have also started keeping a novel with me these days when i travel to the airport <laughs> if i see deepak parekh i'll first make him read it then give my card then make a pitch <laughs> friends uh, the story doesn't end there and when this 200 came to the company it is something different that this entrepreneur did he generally when a company gets funded the promoters take some part of the money go home have a good life go on a europe trip buy some cars go buy a plane also at times if the quantum of input is big something different happened in this organization they invested this money in a plot they bought a plot for 170 crores yeah. at a place near mahalakshmi race course during that period of time 170 crores today is now going to be converted into a project hdfc is a 39% stakeholder in this organization okay that's the best business card one can have so when you have an organization like hdfc as your equity partner you get access to anything and everything in this country so that was his triumph card the second triumph card was they bought this plot now they are unfolding the development of this plot can you guess what will be the quantum of that single project no no it is a 3000 to 3500 crore project so not only getting funded as entrepreneurs we need to realize that when we get the funds how do we deploy it how do we make sure that it gives us maximum benefit possible this is being unfolded and it's supposed to be one of the best upcoming projects in bombay and i'm sure they are from the construction industry they are not builders they are not developers they are a contracting organization which do challenging jobs across the country we need to imagine what they will do to their own project out of the 70 year old experience that they have they will put their best minds together and create something unbelievable that's what i i propose few of us can definitely book at initial stages <laughs> <laughs> we will take that leverage we will show him the photo that we clicked with him on this event and we will blackmail him for that so that was something very interesting how do you use the funds that come into your organization deploying it the right way and i'm sure that hdfc card help the organization grow as well 100% you know uh, as rajesh ji told getting money was one like challenge but then after coming it was the biggest challenge because uh, i always think we are always uh, in this kind of position at a fiduciary capacity 
Because you can't say that this is my money. Because it's somebody else's money. You've got to deal with with very due diligent way. And you've got to give that kind of importance to that. We have to very carefully manage that money. And because we started thinking, what do we do? Where do we utilize and how do we? Because some portion of money we started utilizing to bring the growth. So that is how we reached sometime uh, 2012 range. Because uh, four years it took around 500, 600 crore, which we have been maintaining and because growing, because uh, every year we are by 100 crore, 150 crore. But again, investing money and doing contracting was is also not good business because uh, we have to always, you know, because do the business with. Uh, I always call within the organization OPM, other people's money, because you can't put your money and do the business. That is smartness because creditors, how you to utilize creditors' money, there because credit worthiness because we have been there for a donkey's number of years and with that kind of credibility. And clients, we have been enjoying very good reputation. So upfront, I asked them about some money for your job because my job is to give the delivery, the best quality, speed, and then best budget. Money you have to pay. So we don't try and because put our money. So this money because we started using. So we've been working for all these developers all over the country. We got such a rich experience. We created our brand. Why don't we create backward integration for ourselves? So that is how this process started. And then we started looking out for opportunities in because the metro cities. And luckily we came across this. I did not waste the time because one stroke, one deal, 170 crore we paid. Got the registration done. It's a clean, clear cut property. Because it is impossible to get in this city. Because you know they always come with some tax along with that. So absolute clean property today. Because uh, Rajesh is told that uh, we are in the process of drawing the board because the architects are working. Probably a couple of months down the line, we should be talking about the launch of the project. And no doubt, I think uh, it shouldn't amount to me making big statement, but then it will be one of the best. Because 70 years we have ourselves because put that kind of experience, we have learned so many things which we'll try and put into our own baby and make the best out of it. I'm sure. That's fantastic. And uh, you will be surprised to know this. Prestige Group, everybody must have heard of from Bangalore. Prestige Group is a 29-year-old organization. 29 years back, that group was, was involved with land trading business. 29 years back, this was the company which motivated them and instigated them to become developers. Since 29 years till date, every square feet built by Prestige anywhere and everywhere is built by Mr. Mahesh Mudani's organization, NCCCL. So I think this talks, this talks volumes of customer retaining. The customer retention, which is a challenge in most of the enterprises, I think one of your organization's strength is that. So Ajay Piramal, all the buildings and projects, Ajay Piramal is one of the most liquid rich guy in this industry in the country for the real estate sector. He's one of the biggest liquid fund available for developers across the country, across boards. So all their personal projects are also developed by this organization. So it speaks volumes about uh, identifying the right customers because I have seen the profile. You have selected very, very nicely. It is like matchmaking, like getting married to a girl. You have made sure that you have not done it with the wrong party. You have selected the right people. What do you do? What is that extra mile that you go to make sure that the customers are always retaining by you, are retained by you? Here, I think Rajesh, I must uh, definitely give due credit to our chairman who is 81 year old today. Uh, his, you know, professional upbringing, uh, value-based uh, business systems, ethical because uh, way uh, business systems, and the relationship was we give a lot of importance to relationship because end of the day. Your reputation is more because important than money. If people believe into you, money will come. So we never take any shortcuts, and uh, we never try to jump into the taking the contract. So we are very choosy, very selective. We discuss probably uh, I must say because one of the few contractors where whenever I discussing about any project when we come to FAG and I do not hesitate to talk to a client. So let me know because from where this funding of this project is going to be. Sometimes they like, they do not like. But then I say, sir, because I'm not asking myself for upke project. Kele. You want to do this project in time? You want to do this kind of quality? So I must know from where money is coming. Because if I stop the project, more than you, because it's a credibility of my organization. People say, a hey, contractor ka come, because who the NCC is doing work is not happening. So I take them into confidence. If projects are good, 
I go to the extent of helping them to get the money organized. Sometimes they do not have those kind of resources. We have, because uh, I'm socially very well connected. I love meeting people. I love making friends. And, uh, and that he is, is also on the board of a couple of funds. <laughs> Please make a note of that when you interact <laughs> with him. So, you know, that helps greatly to, you know, give the business to each other and uh, look after your company's interests also. So I think honest is the best policy because uh, if you are honest, I think people understand you in long term. Does your honesty cost a little more to the customers in uh, terms of contract uh, pricing? Uh, not really, truly speaking. Or you are competitive, even we are very, old customers. We are, we are very, very competitive because in long run, you know, you, you may because people may find it in, uh, on the face of it maybe a little uh, uh, higher you know, compared to because any other contractor. But in long run, in terms of we don't cheat them on quality. Your product is being delivered to you faster, so cash flow for them is faster. So you may feel that five percent somebody is quoting low, but if he's delaying your project by because twelve months. You can imagine that cash flow hit. So people, they understand that is how they come repeatedly. We have been working with clients like Prestige or um, Piramals or Bagmane from Bangalore. Many of the companies, you know, multinational companies for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So you can imagine how could this happen. Otherwise in contracting, one contract and that's end of it. End sometimes, of the, sometimes people have three contractors in one project. End of the contract, there is some dispute, there is some ag uh, argument, there is some claim, and you know you are ending up with some sort of you know uh, uh, compromise. And then you have no issue. Uh, uh, otherwise, you know uh, option, but to do that. But then in our case, we don't get into that. How do you how do you depend on innovation, and what is the process of getting innovation in your working? Today, you know. We keep talking about uh, technology, technology, technology. So in-house as well as at site. In-house, if you say, because we come long way there also, from the manual accounting to because the computerization and some uh, local, those basic and COBOL and those kind of programmings, to now this is the, I think, first year we started this process almost five years back. We have fully implemented the SAP system in our organization in all the modules. Whereby we have 42 sites happening all over the country, geographically spread, as I said, from Sikkim to Chennai down. Sikkim, Himachal Pradesh, Chandigarh, Uttaranchal, Delhi, Noida, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Calcutta, not Calcutta, uh, 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 Ahmedabad. So most of the places it is impossible in our business to control by sitting here. So with this SAP tool, we have got connected everybody. So then everything is online. People know also there is no gap about anything. Second, at site, in terms of form work, in terms of uh, equipment, we have been upgrading on regular basing, basis. So dependency on the laborers, it comes down. So it's a great advantage if you think all the time, innovative, n number of products are available. And uh, today, recently, you know, because six months back, uh, we have tied down with the type uh, JV agreement with the Australian company. Probably we are the first one in India uh, to do the three-dimensional construction te uh, technology. This is called 3D technology. Because we have the precast, which is 2D. We have got normal conventional, but this is 3D, where because no joints, and uh, you do such a faster construction, because in 15 days, because you can have the ground plus four-story, 20 apartments building ready. And this is not story, this is not theory, this is not some uh, experience I'm telling, but this is actual, which is happening. We with this technology, we got the job from Tata Housing at Boisa. We are doing 2,000 apartments. We just started the project two months down the line, back, and uh, we've been going ahead with extremely good experience there also. Fantastic. I think uh, that deserves a round of applause from us, and we will open the house for questions. We can start asking questions. Yes. I think Ketan has a question to ask. Good evening, Mahesh <coughs> I know Mahesh for last 20, 25 years. When I was in LNT Cement, I was going to him for uh, selling the cement. And uh, I know whenever I used to quote him the price, he used to never agree because he used to have the information of LNT ECC. I have got two small questions. I have given this background. One. You are known in the industry as the best MIS person. Your management information system, your data is high class. 
from where you get this energy, number one, and from where you get the source of this information. Because a man to <laughs> LNT is giving me the purchase order. <laughs> My second question, you, in last seven years, you have been touching the untouchables. I have seen you partnering with certain builders where as a supplier, I am not there to even supply the cement to him. And you are financing him and making that person to build high class projects. How? I think you are asking his connections or business models. <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking him as a Deepak Parekh so that I can get an image. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, I think it's… Uh, I hope you remember my face. Yes, yes, yes. We have yes, been meeting at least yes, once in a month. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. And uh, I think uh, it's uh, very simple. It's uh, belief into yourself and believing uh, in the people. I think I don't uh, come from the background where because uh, I say somebody is bad. I hate that. I don't like anybody criticizing anybody because you have no rights to criticize anybody. Because we got our own lot of drawbacks. If people start doing that, probably I wouldn't be sitting here. So, why people are saying uh, this organization is bad and why? Because we shouldn't work, they are not uh, supporting them. I study them, go to uh, their background. Yes, there are ups and downs for anybody, everybody in the business. I went to the extent of, I'm not naming because you know that. <laughs> so, went to the extent of meeting them, discussing with them, understanding their business model, why they are going like this, why they are because not because you know because thinking about their future, talking to them, to then extent convincing them your model organization is very good because you, these are the issues I want to partner with them with you because let's take the strength of because your strength is into this because land acquisition permissions you created your brand but you're failing now in deliveries. The moment failure in delivery comes, your money flow goes out. People because you know bias because they don't pay money. Suppliers because they're not getting their money in time, so they because don't supply you. So it's a very vicious circle. So to break that, I said, I will partner with you. Let's use our brand. The moment because NCC was you'll see the change. Why I was doing this? Because by doing this, as again as sort of backward integration strategy, because I saw the volume. I sat with them, understood with their CFO and their whole team. Millions of because square feet work is available. We converted that because in five years we're talking about 3,000 crores of because you know turnout. I said, this is sitting in my backyard here and why should I go into circling all over the world? So let me put my because faith into them, convert them, teach them. Change their attitude basically. Change their whole attitude and we've done that successfully. I, I also know the financial tool that he uses for this, but I can't share that here. <laughs> and I know, I know the person to whom he has partnered. <laughs> you have answered my second question, sir. He wants to know about your… First question. First question. How you used to get that purchase order of LNT? <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, 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 this is the, as I tell because the moment we both become one, you start trusting me. Because I'm talking fair business. Because the moment you see that because we are both are one, but you open up yourself. So that's why I always tell them because none of because these suppliers, they are my suppliers. I always tell them they are associates, they are partners. partner share You want business, no? So that is where that bonding comes. Then people open up. <laughs> so he had his <laughs> Yes, the next question. Yeah, Ishwar. Yes. Okay, Rohit. Yeah, my question to you is that, uh, you know, you said that you, uh, you've been maintaining relationship with uh, your client for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. So did any time, you know, you had to compromise on the values or it was all the time, uh, you know, based on the trust and the confidence? Because in the industry, there are, you know, the big fishes, uh, they always try to, sometimes, not always, sometimes try to, you know, uh, exploit uh, you because you're a small player and they have a big business to give you. So how did you deal with these situations? Or did any, you come across to any such situation where your payment was stuck and you did not receive your payment? See, compromising uh, your value systems, it is again up to you. Nobody will force on this world. Because I always tell them, everybody that, because it is you who decide because what you want. 
nobody can force themselves onto you. So there are ways and means of dealing. I mean, because you can't be always uh, saying that I am right. You can say the same thing because in a different uh, way and still get your work done. So I know the definitely art of getting things done from the people. That much I can say. Any situation, anybody, however difficult. So what, however is, what is that one X factor? No, because fact, simple because your humility and your commitment. People see into your eyes. People see in your body language. Because whether I am there to take advantage of you or give advantage to you. The moment I talk about giving you, I'm sure because you will, in 99%, 1% you come across good, bad, ugly, you know, but then 99% because people, even however bad they are, they change their attitude. They say, because this guy has been genuine. He means business. I think we can't deal with him like that. And then because with the experience you keep, because meeting people, uh, you understand. Definitely. So he's not come through that uh, situation. No. The, the yeah. smartest thing that he as an entrepreneur has done is he selects his clients. Simple. Thank you. And when he studies his clients, he also studies his strong and weak points. Probably then he positions himself rightly. Ishwar, uh, I was telling you Mr. Suhash Deshpande, architect Suhash Deshpande. Yes, yes. The Vision Crest. Yes, I, I heard about him. Built by him Renault. in 22 months, one of the fastest built building in uh, Maharashtra probably. Yes. In 22 months it was built. I was just discussing with him about that in your year. And you're also asking a question now. Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah. So, I wanted to elaborate on 3D technology and the other question is uh, uh, you, you are actually known for giving the projects in time. So, what when you do the projects in the uh, metropolis like Mumbai, uh, how the authority, sanctions of authority and comes into your, uh, you know, delivering uh, schedule and uh, how do you do it in uh, that schedule if you do not have the uh, sanctions from the authority and the plan, ap approvals of plans and the further uh, commencements and all. So, do you take into consideration that also when you give the schedule for uh, completion of the projects. Yeah, first I'll answer your 3D uh, question because uh, in any case I'll definitely pose this, uh, I'll ask my office to send to the complete presentation, there is nothing to uh, hide about it and uh, you'll understand in more detail. Uh, but in nutshell because this is an amazing technology where because no joints, no nothing, but suppose this house, this room we are talking, whole room is being cast in the very controlled environment. And because it comes out within 12, because 24 hours, because you can take it out also. Because with the control environment, where because your water, your curing, your all those things are happening, it's like absolutely industrialization of the housing, in true sense. Because it is happening in the factory controlled environment. So this amazing technology I'll share with you definitely. And uh, because about schedule times, because you know uh, we really don't deal with uh, any of these government authorities. So, because we deal with the client because that is their, uh, uh, I, because the area where to get the permissions and all. But what we do, because I never get into the hurry of starting the job, I always tell them, please share your drawings with me. Don't push because us to just start the excavation, whereby because we all will start the because start waiting. You get your permissions in time, you have the clarity, then I will mobilize the site. So, that works well in because wherever people are genuine. Yes, last two questions. Yes, Ishwar. Hi, so you were talking about uh, multi-location, so many people on delivering projects on time, especially in construction industry. It would be required uh, lots of mammoth project management. What do you do for that? How do you manage uh, projects? Because right now I'm talking to one of the international company, uh, Turner International, and they are struggling with the project management because they also do 1,000 projects a year. So, how do you do the project management in such a labor-intensive, multi-location no, that, that is where the technology helps. As I was telling you, know, this SAP, today there is something called DPR, Daily Progress Reports. Of all sides, end of the day, because each side project uh, team, they have to feed in the data. So, on daily basis, there is update on how things are, are moving. There is something called budget, there is something called actual. This is being, being regularly monitored and controlled. Otherwise, it is impossible. Things will go haywire only. So, this technology and people's commitment. End of the day, because uh, technology is what? Because uh, uh, garbage in, garbage out. But then, good data, which is being fed, is most important. So, that's why there is a monitoring. There is a regular, you know, uh, analysis being done. Uh, when people are involved, their presentations. So, there is good control through the system. Yes. Yanago. 
you've been in the construction industry for 70 years. And Rajesh tells that you're just getting into the development part of it. You're motivated only now to get into the development. Why weren't you motivated before itself to get into that? I think we've done before this in uh, Pune, because in 93-94 we've done a small project. Uh, almost uh, two years back we completed one project in Pune. Bangalore we've done something. But those were all small, 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 because we're understanding that process. And uh, another thing, because I can openly tell that uh, it's known fact that in uh, development, because a uh, lot of ambiguities were there and because not, not clarity, dealing with the government and those kind of aspects, which we never wanted to get into that. But things are changing now. There's a lot of clarity, a lot of professionalism. People understand now because uh, what they really need to bring the growth for their own state or the country. So we'll be into that bracket where because this kind of project where because we'll be dealing very upfront from the word go with the, all the authorities. So I don't think, because I'm, I can tell with that kind of confidence that none of authorities can dare to, you know, because uh, mess around with us. We will not tolerate that. And they mean business now, because I've been interacting. We took this call after having a lot of interaction with the authorities. And I understand they need good people in the system. It's not that because everybody's bad. So I think there is a lot of scope for doing this, and because it will help us for backward integration, as I told, because we don't have to all the time look back for the uh, contracting outside. So it is we're doing at arm's length. Our own company can do the same thing. So which is going to be your future? Now, because no, definitely it's a mix of it. Because contracting, I want to make it as strong as possible, because that is the strength of this organization. But what and happens after you start tasting the right. sweet taste of developers' profits? <laughs> that will be that will be always you know because the icing on the cake. Because uh, we've been enjoying our cake, so this will add to the flavor. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, Kunal. Yes. Good evening, sir. Thoroughly enjoying myself. You have had such a beautiful exposure to education. I want to know what motivated you to get such an international exposure and one key learning that you implemented in your organization that helped you grow. Mm, about education, yes. Uh, what motivated me is my failure. Uh, in 81, I come to Mumbai uh, with the dream of uh, doing the chartered accountancy. And I uh, started doing my articleship. I completed my three years articleship. I could not clear, clear in any of the exams. And, uh, but one thing with me that because uh, I'm very positive. And never, ever, ever, because maybe because from, from young days, one is our upbringing in the family and my own, own uh, reading exposure. Never in life I, would, I think negative about anything. I say always there is tomorrow. And I'll, I say always there is other side to it. And... Uh, at times, our uh, uh, students who were uh, studying with me, they used to criticize me, laugh at me. Are you not doing study? I said, it doesn't matter. How does it matter? Any of the degrees, boss. We will do something. So, and that is how I started. And let me tell you, today I have got, because more than, I think, um, 18, 20 chartered accountants working with us. And, <laughs> and, and the funny part is, during his stint of doing his chartered accountancy, in that particular group, the guy who topped is now working with him. He, he, <laughs> He is my CFO and company secretary. So in life, you know, and, and then since I couldn't do that, I was thinking, well, what do I do? So there are many this, you know, uh, advanced management programs with this. Uh, how I've done Harvard, Harvard that program. I've done Wharton. So because you have need to have that uh, experience of uh, 10 years, 20 years as an uh, entrepreneur or director. And I was qualifying for that and uh, got an advantage of that. But I think this education exploits also gave you business opportunities, yes, right? Yes. In Wharton, you met people who gave you business here. Uh, amazing, you know, because uh, Wharton, that group, we had uh, uh, Thermax uh, chairman, uh, that Meher Padamji, she was one of the, our uh, Wharton uh, our, uh, group uh, member. Then uh, Ambuja Cement, Mr. Pulkit Sakseria. Uh, uh, so many of them. So you recovered 100 times of the fees that you paid for the course. B believe me, because <laughs> post we came back, I'd, I'd done uh, Thermax there, uh, uh, corporate office in Pune, no tender, no nothing. Uh, <laughs> so that helps in life. Ambuja Cement is like my company, because any time you telephone, any difficulties, Pulkit, the job is done. You know, it helps in Maishi, life. how many times did you repeat that program? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Vivek, you are supposed to ask a question. Okay. Yeah, I'll ask that. Uh, Mahesh ji, I have one question to you. Uh, construction industry and development, all these things are really progressing quite a lot in today's world with Modi ji's uh, uh, prime ministership. I wanted to ask, what is the role your company is going to play in the advancement 
that this country is going through right now in this phase for the next 10 years? What's the future for your com company? Very interesting, very interesting. I think I was discussing the other day with Rajesh and I think this is a very important question. Today, our Prime Minister's vision is that uh, by 2020, house for everybody. And we are talking phenomenal numbers. I don't want to get into that. The state government, I met uh, uh, our CM, uh, uh, Mr. Devendra Fadunwis. He has got uh, very ambitious uh, programs. So, when, because being into this industry, I always thought, and because uh, how do I contribute? When you start contributing, it is going to add value to your organization and you will definitely make money. But the motive is not only make money. So, from that point of view, this technology, what we are talking, this took almost 14 months for us to uh, discuss with these people, negotiate with them, convince to them, get that technology into this country and being put into use. So, we are talking everyday house. Today, I am in the process of talking with uh, Turkey, one of the company in Istanbul. And uh, there also, they talk everyday flow. It's called tunnel form technology. Deshpande Sahib, because you must be know. So I've been discussing at very advanced stage with these guys also tying up with them. Simultaneously, I'm discussing with government saying that let everybody work with you, we'll be different. In these words, I told to CM also, sir, because let's talk serious business. So they need good people. So as you rightly said, because today going forward, mass housing is the only solution. Because and uh, we are definitely there and down the line, you know, a couple of years, you all will definitely see, witness and bless us with uh, the way we are progressing. Fantastic. Vivek, last two questions, Vivek and Praveen. Sir, not to sound negative, but farmers were committing suicide. They said builders are and two builders unfortunately committed. Give us four reasons or impetus which the government is doing, four specific ones to push this industry. Sorry, I didn't four, know, four farmers no, no, forget that. That was just an added <laughs> thing to it. He said, like farmers, now even builders have started committing suicide. You know, so give us four specific positive impetus the government is talking about. Because we've been hearing for the last two, two and a half years, but we are still not feeling it on the ground. Because I'm also a supplier to a lot of construction companies, dumpy levels, automatic levels, global positioning systems. So we have not yet felt uh, the uh, new wind. Yeah, no, because I'll give the simple uh, answer to your question. Why do things go wrong? If I do wrong, if I decided to do something right, how on these such things will go wrong? Because I know because I want to drive into this lane, I want to drive with this speed, I don't want to drive rash, I don't want to take because, you know, because, uh, uh, unnecessary risk into because, you know, uh, 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 breaking the lanes. Accident rarely happen. In our case, we are party to it. We don't, we can't blame. It's very easy to blame anybody in this country or this world. Because government is like this, because ministers are like this. We are like this. How can because anybody become bad? Because when you both join hand, then only. So to, I think, I don't think because we have a right to blame anybody. Let's analyze ourselves. Let's do the introspection and because see that how do we can improve. Then there is, because a lot of because, you know, answers will unfold. So that it's just playing by the rule book is the moral of the story. Praveen. Yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, so you spoke about taking up hello. Yeah, you spoke about taking a project uh, when it was higher, the entire value of the project was uh, equal or more than your entire turnover. I just wanted to know more about that project. Was it a seamless delivery to the end client because you put your entire workforce to do something which you have not done earlier? Was it seamless or still did you have escalations? And at that stage, if you had escalations in any instance, how did you manage it? And was it showstoppers to your uh, end client? It was absolutely seamless because wow. uh, we had put our whole soul, heart, our experience, everything into it. And it was very calculated one. It was not haphazard. It was very calculated, very systematically worked out, and all the because aspects of that projects we had put onto the you know, because, uh, um, uh, your flow chart, bar chart, we had analyzed where the where is the critical path, and because how to combat that or how to come overcome that. So all the answers were there, and flow was very good, because clients were interested. They were paying Rajeshri because we submit the bill. Believe me, next day check used to be ready. So there was commitment from both the end. Normally, because anything goes wrong when because, because two people when they are together, why things go wrong? Because somebody is lacking with their own you know, commitment into their own commitment. 
there that is where problem starts here it was amazing experience so that is the only that that period is the only project where you taken 90% of your no, staff no 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 we doing other because that is how we could that scalability because how in life happens that is how we could reach to that next project was in the same city with uh, nirlon goregao we got another 100 crore project because this led us to take that wow Excellent. so nirlon is also made by you yeah nirlon okay. <laughs> I didn't know Thank that. Thank you, sir. NM College was also constructed by them and rocket period. In their vacation, they constructed the building. <laughs> so, friends, we come to the end of the session. And uh, I think Mr. Anthony Sikwer wants to ask a last question. I can't refuse him. He's the chairman of my organization, actually. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sikwera. This is not a question. Just uh, since I know him, I thought I will share with you people. His biggest success is as told earlier, humility. Second thing is he is excellent in public relationship. And I am also the beneficiary of his uh, uh, relationship. Uh, relationship. I have attended so many parties what he has conducted, wherein present bureaucrats, uh, retired bureaucrats, politicians, <laughs> all are there. And that is the reason of his success. <laughs> I would like to request Mr. Anthony Sequeira to come up. I must say one thing because the, he spoke about my humility. You know, from the, these words and this uh, whatever I'm uh, doing now today, lot credit goes to him. Because we have been seeing you, sir, and because learning, because still lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, uh, Once again, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, thinking of, uh, of me and uh, giving, uh, uh, getting me on this platform. This is amazing. The kind of work he's doing at this age is, forget about, because we talk about any uh, inspiring conversation, because a lot to be learned from this gentleman. I think you are doing wonderful job. Keep doing all the Thank best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>